Hi guys! Hey, look at me! I have, I've got videos four days in a row. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, I do. I know, because I'm really, really trying to devote myself to this. I really am, because I so easily just, eh, nobody's watching it anyway. Nobody's commenting on them anyway, so why not just the, who cares? Nobody cares. Well, I've come to the conclusion that I care, because more than anything, it's holding me accountable. And this brings me to today's video on accountability and trying to fulfill some goals in life. So as you may know, um, I'm going to be getting back into comic books and I've started um, doing my preliminaries, you know, like trying to get the story idea, what I want it to be about and all that kind of stuff. And as I was doing that today and honestly over the last two months, I've really thought about it, but I was like, I, I can't do it. It's not for me. I'm way too inconsistent. I don't know if I could do it. But today, darn it, I made the decision that I am going to do the 100 Days of Comics. I know, I know. Everybody's out there going, oh my lord, she's not even going to make it four days. Well, I made it four days on this, so I think I can do it. So we're going to start. I, wait, we could just start today because I have some things to show you. So why don't we make this day one of 100 Days of Making Comics. And if you're not familiar with 100 Days of Making Comics, it was um, started by um, an artist named Kevin Cross. Again, I will put a link down below and perhaps one above um, linking you to his channel. And what it is is basically you devote 30 minutes a day or more if you have it, but at least 30 minutes a day working on your own comic book. And then at the end of 100 days, hopefully, my goal anyway, is to have a completed comic book. And then we can get it published and all that kind of stuff. So, day one, I want to show you what I've done. Today, this is at work. Now, I have, yesterday, I did this. This is basically just my kind of ideas, what I want to do, where the where the stories are. I actually have, like, I don't know if you can see them here, like, one, two, three, and four. I've actually got, like, four, five stories um, to um, put in the book, because I don't know if I want to make it a, um, w like, one story. I think I want to make it a story, but then break it up with, like, little bits of things, if, if you're fam familiar with any of uh, Joan Vasquez's work, then you know that he has the story, but then he has like little little chunks, like little two pages of like silliness. And that's what I want to do. Um, so I've got today, I took um, this little book, make sure I got it right side up. Yep. This little book I took with me to work because I constantly am using the paper at work to jot down notes on break or not break, if you know what I mean. And so today I bought this little book and thought, why not just just start it? Just do it when you're on break or lunch or don't have anything else to do for the day, so you're just sitting upstairs with your notebook. So <laughs> I wanted to show you. So I started um, this one right here. I, you can't read it, but um, this is basically, um, I'm kind of mapping out the character ideas, what they look like, who they are. Originally I wanted to make it Mina and Chloe from Sugar and Spite, but I can't. Those, it's, this story is not for Mina and Chloe, and that, that will have to continue on its own. So this one, um, the working title right now is Canada Street. And Canada Street was a street I lived on when I was really little, like in the 70s. And the um, only thing I can remember uh, is the girl who lived down the street and the two boys who lived across, uh, the, the, across the street from us. So we're going to make it, um, well, I'm going to make it, uh, about basically two sisters. And they just moved in to Canada, on, onto Canada Street. And they're coming into like an already established like friendship with the the two guys that live across the street and then the girl who lives down the block. And that like a real life story because I really lived on Canada Street and uh, we moved a lot. So we were constantly always the new kid. So this is kind of that kind of a story and everything that we did on Canada Street. Now when I lived there 
oh my gosh, I was probably, I don't know, maybe, I was like, I think I was in the fourth grade. How old is that? Like 11? No. 10? 9? 9? 9? 9? So that's roughly how old they're going to be. All I remember is Kiss started <laughs> when I lived on Canada Street. Like that was the first time I ever heard of Kiss. So whatever 1970, whatever time Kiss started. Was it 70, 77? I don't remember. Anyway, I think it was 77. Didn't they just have a 40th anniversary or 40? I don't know. I should know that because I am in love with Paul Stanley. But anyway, so... Character ideas, we started right now. Uh, we're just on the first one right now, which is basically a me. So I'm making me as I was as a little girl, and I want to share with you kind of the preliminary like sketch here that I did. And I think she's cute, of course. She's just a sketch, and I was just doing it at work on my 15-minute break. So it's not perfect, but um, yeah, that's kind of her. I don't know if I can, if I'm, if you're seeing it well enough, but yeah, her legs kind of don't match. But this hairstyle is what I had. I had some wicked bangs like this, and I was also blonde back then. But wicked bangs, and my mom took my hair and put it over like this, and put a barrette in it. So that's how her hair will be. Now I am really contemplating setting it in the 70s um that was just a cool time um and I don't know I don't know if anybody will get it if anybody would want to read something that's like that old um but that's what that's what I'm thinking I might not we'll just see how it goes now the second part of it is I have this book called Arnie Neville this was um one of my little mini comics that I did and it's just a one-off. Um, Arnie never had a series. Um, he wasn't, you know, anything. So this is Arnie. And this is, I was just experimenting with that kind of style, that big, bold outline. I don't know. But anyway, I'm thinking about taking Arnie and um, redesigning him and putting him as one of the boys across the street. And the other one is... I don't really have a good picture of him because he's just, he's not a main character. But let me see if I can find something here. Hang on, hang on. I like this picture too, by the way. I thought this was very cute. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> this is trying to kiss. And that's the teacher. <laughs> so, I just thought that was cute. I would show you that. Um, okay, so here is the one I want. The main character's like love interest. I don't know what his name is going to be yet. I'm thinking about calling him Eugene. I don't know. But he's artistic, um, kind of um, antisocial, not antisocial, but awkward, basically. And my character also, I don't know if this makes sense, but she's awkward, antisocial, but also a little conceited. <laughs> so I, I'm going to, um, it is what it is. He kind of, he kind of has like a little goth emo kind of thing. Let me see if I can. I love guys in glasses. So he's going to have glasses and uh, dark hair, brown eyes. He's kind of, I'm gonna, I want to make him, when I redesign him, kind of a mix of, and this is going to sound so weird, but Paul Stanley and uh, Sylvester Stallone. I don't know. I don't don't ask but that's what I want to do so anyway this is our first stage is that I'm working on building the storyline um, started that again I was doodling like pictures I want this little I don't know if you can see her right here that is just like a that's kind of my little baby sister Lisa <laughs> so I want to put her in there because she was such a pest. She was such a pest when we were little. And, um, yeah, so she's got to be in there somewhere. And that is it. This is day one of 100 days of making comics. And now, I want you guys to hold me accountable. I want you to give me heck if I don't show up. So every day for the next 100 days, I will have an update on this comic book. So now the first couple of days, don't get excited about seeing too much art because you have to like 
you know, get the process done. I've got to make the story and I will share that with you. Um, and then we'll work into sketches on characters and so on. But the main goal is to get to space in 2018. That's the goal. Now, if I get this done, which should be about September, I think September 21st or 2nd or somewhere around there, that should be when I get this finished. So I might have enough days to do another one if we do, if, if I can get this one done, but I'm really getting ahead of myself. So yeah, so that's it. Day one, 100 days of making comics by me. Please, please <laughs> let me stick to this. I really want to do this so bad and I've really put it off. I've wanted to do it since I heard about it last year and by golly gosh, if we're going to make it happen. Also, happy birthday, Paul Lynn. If you don't know who Paul Lynn is, I am so sorry. Um, but anyway, I'm going to let you go. I got to get ready to go to my second job at 5 o'clock, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.